What is up, my fellow net dwellers? Couch Command here, the teddy bear who teaches you how to mod different games. Today we're on another Game Pass game. This is Mountain Blade 2. I've shown you how to mod it before, but obviously things have changed since then. A lot of the mods stopped functioning with the 1.1 updates. Uh, there was a lot of issues around the current version of Harm... Well, the version at the time as far as Harmony goes. Bunch of other stuff. On the bright side, a lot of people worked hard, I'm assuming, as far as Harmony and other people to be able to get this to mod again. And I take no credit for getting it to mod. I'm just going to show you how to do it. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. Starting off, we're going to be installing the game. You just pick the location you want to install just like normal. And as far as this game goes, it's the same issue we run into with a lot of games like Fallout, Skyrim, so on and so forth, where a lot of the compatibility issues, a lot of the general issues with modding the game on Game Pass stem from them. Modifying the XE, modifying the file paths, making things just slightly different. One of the reasons why some of the people have stated that you can get script extenders and other things to work for the actual Fallout versions if you actually go out and get a copy of the executable for it. Well, Mountain Blade is similar where if you have another executable for it or something to handle the launching process for you, it can alleviate some of those issues. Anyways, we'll be jumping way more into that as I actually show you how to mod this thing. And we managed to get Harmony working. We've got a ton of different mods working at this point. It should provide you relatively the same functionality of the Steam version utilizing this method. Anyways, let's go ahead and do a temporary time jump while this finishes installing. And I'll get right back with you. All right, now that the game's installed, let's go ahead and get modding. So this is going to be a lot of mods that we're going to install eventually, but we're going to start off with the basic ones that we absolutely need. First, manage, files, and browse, same steps we always take. We're gonna go into Mountain Banner Lord content, and you'll notice modules should be pretty empty here. These are all the basic stuff that comes with the game. Now, the biggest mods that we'll need for this are going to be Harmony, which is just crucial for the vast majority of anything that uses a DLL for this. And Bannerlord Software Extender, BLSE. This was one of the first, this is the first mod that was ever put on Nexus for it. You can tell by its URI for it. This is essentially just an extra executable to allow additional functionality in the game, which actually lets all the mods function, or at least every mod I've tried so far function on the Game Pass version. All right, so in my downloads, I have Bannerlord and I have Harmony available. Let's go ahead and extract these real fast. I'm just always going to extract the files here just because that is easiest for me. I don't like to spend the time to do a direct extract to any given location. I semi regret that because this bin here is for that Bannerlord Harmony. Pretty sure, yep. So. Now that we've got those extracted, let's go ahead and get them installed. So for the Bannerlord software extender, we're actually gonna just click and drag it into the main file. The bin will go into this bin here and add in these items here. And I'll actually add in these executables to allow us to run mods. Then as far as Harmony goes, Harmony goes over in your modules. I have to go one down. There we go. All right. So now we have those two ones installed. Let's talk about some others that we're gonna use. So the first mod you saw me use was GT Carbon Body. This is not the right one. This is the right one. GT Carbon Body is just a body replacer. It goes, uh, let's just say more H anime style for the body of the character, completely unrealistic. No woman's ever gonna have this outside of certain genres. And then the next one is the KOK armor. This will actually just give a variety of armors available to it. It's all labeled like uh, T1 through T6 as far as armor grades go, but it's all relatively cultured armor for your characters. Both of these should be able to be used with what I've got and they will work as far as allowing us to go ahead and demo the fact Harmony's working. So we need GT Carbon Body right here. 
And we're going to just extract this one. And then the next one is going to be the KOK armor. I'm not going to bother extracting this one because this one is just a zip file. Normal zip files, you can just click to enter. It's just 7-zip RARs and all of those that require something special for them. So we're going to go ahead and just click in here, grab this, and drag it over to our modules. And then we're going to do the same thing with GT Carbon Body. Enjoy the weights because the GT... Sorry, the KOK is a lot of textures. You can see here it's moving... 50%, so 2.5 gigabytes of textures over as far as the armor's availability. Lots of textures, just lots of textures. All right, now that those are done, we can go ahead and launch the game. Interrupting past me, because those two mods didn't actually have anything in the bin as far as DLLs to load, they were both able to function normally without any issue. However, if your mod has a bin file in it, like let's say Adnase, which I'll show you later in this video, and you do not have a gaming 64 location in this folder, it will not run. You'll get a DLL error. Now, if you do not know what path to use for this, all you have to do is go ahead and copy the file and go ahead and paste it. Come back to Mountain Banner Lord, go into the bin file here, and you'll have this gaming desktop x64 client. Just go ahead and click rename here, copy the contents, go back to the module you're working on, Go to your copied file here, go ahead and rename this and just paste in that description. This will allow the DLL to actually function. Now let's get back to past me doing his spill. Now with using BLSC, we cannot launch through the Xbox Game Pass piece anymore. This will cause it to error. This is part of the whole thing where I said your executable, the way it works, all that causes issues. So it's gonna Go ahead and do my normal spiel of, hey, this is a new game. Go ahead and give permissions, launch. We're gonna get the basic window here where we can actually select our mods, Harmony selected, GT Carbon Body and all that. That's because I used all of these on my most recent save. If I click play though, confirm, the game's gonna bomb on me. It's just a matter of when, and it's because these mods, there we go. These mods with the game pass setting do not function as is from the executable. So we're gonna go ahead and say no here, accept the fact we crashed and actually go ahead and launch the game how we need to launch it going forward. Which inside of the Bannerlord location, we're gonna go into bin. We're going to go into gaming desktop x64. Right here, we have Bannerlord BLSC launcher. This is going to be the launcher that we actually need to use going forward. So if we go ahead and run this one instead, You'll notice pop-ups the exact same. We have the exact same version, 1.1.3. Our mods are still all selected, but this time when I click play, we go to the loading screen and we'll actually get the anvil here soon. Voila. So at least we're not crashing off the start using this, right? So let's go ahead and continue campaign with my last character. Uh, we're gonna say yes to this. I'm going to end up having some weirdness. I might actually break my save doing this because I used, yeah. I used uh, Adnay's troop replacer and some other ones to actually get my troops that I want. So to actually demo this one working, we're gonna have to run the game a little differently. Well, I'm gonna have to create a new game, basically. Just to show that these mods work, this does function. And then we're gonna go into the bonus content of here are all the mods that I was using cancel, do campaign. Achievements disabled. We've successfully modded the game at this point. It's letting us start up. Actually get into the game. You cannot see my left side of the screen specifically because of, yeah. Obviously this is not a standard look here. So at this point you can tell game's been successfully modded. This is how female model looks normal. This is a GT Carbon body with a custom outfit. So those mods are successfully loaded. Let's go ahead and install the rest of the mods. When I say the rest of the mods, I do mean a lot too. I was using, for that last short, I got as many cultured mods as I could possibly find for this game. 
So there's going to be hot butter. This one is basically it gives you some unique text in different settlements. It also lets you have some very cultured cutscenes. Streetwalkers just add some more culture into the different NPCs walking around the world in the game. Utilizes the outfits for KOK and so on to actually push the model onto them and all that. Uh, GOT carbon body outfit walkers for streets of Caldaria. This one just lets the NPCs use the GT carbon body outfits for it. A uh, cult of Calypios. This one basically allows for a different group of enemies to be available. Cultured enemies, very cultured enemies. We'll just leave it at that. ATC Adnes, we need this to be able to use the cult one because this will actually replace troops with the new models. Uh, highlight better items. This is not cultured. This is just ease of life. If something's better than what I got, it'll just highlight it in green for you. Auto equip your NPCs and yourself. I mean, this one just automatically loads the best equipment for your character. You can enable and disable it. Pretty useful. Uh, ask where lords are. This one just gives you another dialogue option where you can ask any lord where people are. Custom companion. Custom companion lets you create your own custom companions inside settlement. Set up templates for it. That way you can just fast give yourself however many companions you want. You can also control the count. Let's go ahead and get modding. We're going to just pop back into the downloads folder. And all of these mods will go the exact same way where we are just going to be clicking and dragging them over or extracting them using 7-zip. And it's just going to be doing that a lot. Now that that's over, let's go ahead and actually go launch the game again. All right, now if we actually look here, we have a variety of options available. Now we're going to need to make sure that this loads before the walkers of Caldaria. Or is it after? Yeah, either way. And we can just start checking through these. Adonais, we need ask where lords are, custom companions, hot butter, walkers, Basically, we're just going to check them all. And then let's go ahead and click play. By the way, you can tell TW for the actual stuff that comes with the game versus everything else has the three person as in third party content. Let's go ahead and play confirm. And if this worked, I should be able to actually launch my save, which had all of this done. And we're getting a ton of errors. All right, because of those first two mods, both GT Carbon Body, you go into the bin here, there's these items, but there's nothing in here. That's because GT Carbon Body doesn't actually utilize DLLs. And the same can be said with uh, the KOK Armory. You'll notice here, there's also no bin file. Now, whenever mods actually have a bin file for the Game Pass version, you actually have to come into the bin here and we're going to need to make a new folder. All right, now let's go ahead and actually launch the game with all those mods configured. So let's go ahead and continue, confirm. If everything works, you shouldn't get any pop-up that none of the DLLs are available or anything like that. They should all function as normal. You do have to make sure you're doing that with any of the bin files. I just got lucky that those first two mods don't require it. Otherwise, you would have seen an error message when it ran. So here's hoping you watch the bonus content. All right, here you can see Hot Butter in play. If 
we go to my character, we can see JT Carbon in play. If we go to my party, you can see we have the T5, T3, T4s, Cavalry. These are all, uh, these are the cults being in effect. These are special troops that are not in the base game. If you have a T on it, it means it's one of the cult of Calypsis or whatever it is, which means it is a cultured unit. If you couldn't tell from Shibari. So all of that worked. Now, <laughs> I also could always just go back to town center. Here's custom companions available. Uh, if I go to trade, you'll notice none of this is green because all of my stuff is better than it. Let me turn off. This enable AEC is the auto equip, so I'm gonna turn off auto equip and I'm going to just grab some random crap weapon if I have any. And voila, if you look over here, now I have a bunch of green options on what is better. So that's how that one works. Uh, if there's a Lord or a lady in this town, you could probably ask him where people are. Let's see here. Let's just talk well to you. And then, yeah, there's your option for I'm looking for somebody. You can ask about locations of any person. So, all of those mods work. Anyways, this was Couch Band. You guys all have a good night, a great tomorrow, and an amazing rest of the week. I'll see you next time.